to recoup on mid lane. Brogan's gonna get back in, and Hobelter is just throwing the Chaos Storm out every time he gets the chance. He doesn't connect with the auto, but the Chaos Storm still stays in range. He gets the kill he needs, but deficit. They are facing a yeah. great deficit, and now they're oh. getting oh. jumped on. Picture perfect. Puts Grigny right back in the middle of the Immortal squad. And now they're going to go ahead and happily push this wave in. They may not get everything oh, no! out of it. Good to see the TP from Frog, and he's still down towards the bot lane. He's slowly walking up and stops pushing bottom as his team gets taken down. He's going to have shields continue the poke for himself. There is the on the hunt. Big throws back to Glacial Fisher, but look at Fox coming out of the woodwork on the right side here. The teleport is going to be coming in from Hooney, and that really turns Fox away to continue this fight. Uh -oh. KFO is going to be just on the outside, leaps to his team. Chaos Storm is still in range, along with Turtle flashing. Passed the word there. Oh, he did that. Pink. Wherever Froggen goes, that's where the possibility of playmaking is for Echo Fox. Here goes Immortals, though. Froggen right onto Turtle. His spell shield is on, so Froggen's waiting. And they actually throw it right onto Poe Belter, making sure the AoE damage of the fight is pretty much gone, but you have to remember. Froggen does strike and take down Poe Belter, who he knows doesn't have it. Oh, Turtle dead! That's going to be all she wrote for that <laughs> fight. A lot of, it's not that efficient. Uh-oh, here goes Hooney. Locked up. Frozen Tomb. Locked up, knocked up. He's trying to get an Equilibrium Strike on and play a little ring around the road. There it is! They did it! The two-man <laughs> split push, Riv. They learned this yesterday. They use it effectively now. They're able to get their kill. They finally get a turret for themselves. However, it's going to cost them an inhibitor turret. So I think they make but the call waiting. to get their own yep. inhibitor turret and use this minion wave. Oh, boy. But Keith is mid, though. He's going to have to come back now. There's so much little health on that mid turret that it looked good. And he didn't think they were going to be going for the base. Now it's a semi-base race. The power is definitely on Immortal's oh, side Nexus here. Left. Keith comes back, calls it out. They're going to save the other Nexus turret. So they drop inhibitors. But oh, it's for Keith! The Nexus turret, Chaos Storm! Gravity field to pull him back. Doesn't even need it. Gets the autos and the Q off. And they get the shield back. Pobelter, that means he can still go hard under the Nexus turrets. But they say, wait a minute. Not get too crazy here. They've backed out of our base, so we can slow this down and see oh. how they try to defend. Oh, he's got teleport, though. He's waiting to teleport in. Immortals are not done. They're going to make Echo Fox pay for that. Is there a ward coming in? Obviously, they have the minions. Got minions. Someone to be fighting. Maybe it's the one the turret goes on. It actually goes on rain over. I'm not sure he wanted that right away, but it's not really going to matter. He is huge. Immortals looking to put the finest final touches on. They go for the back line, and KFO goes down with that idea. It's going to be Fox trying to get Ooh. to the fountain for solace. And now it's going to be Immortals looking to take game one just under 30 minutes over Echo Fox.